<laughs> there we go, much better. And let's send you to places. Don't mind me, I'm just sending stuff. We'll start in just a moment. La 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 la. We'll start in just a moment. Because something, something, something. Sorry, I have to set all these things up. I will, I will do an intro in a second. Uh, can I see chats? Yes, I can. Awesome. What else do you do to pop out? There we go. And that can live in here. Do 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 boop. Okay. Okay, so I just randomly decided to do another one of these uh, streamy things, and you can't see me, so let's... Yes, you can see me. I couldn't see me. That was confusing. I'm professional. Okay, here's what we're doing. At the moment, if I get into... God, I'll get away. Uh, I forgot the control plugged in. Yes! Need a bigger office. Uh, yeah, so if I get into the game, we have this rather fancy little proc gen going on. So... Oops, there we go. Um, we can see a bunch of buildings and the occasional skyscraper. So what's happening is we have two building tiles and they're being uh, randomly selected when we generate the map and randomly rotated. Right, you know what, let's turn the game sound off. How's that sound? So yeah, when the game starts, what we're going to do is we're going to generate the map, pick a tile, for pick a building, a grid tile, and then place it. Uh, we're going to pick from one of the two buildings we have and rotate it in one of the four possible directions. There's also a 1% chance that we're not going to do that. We're instead going to place a uh, skyscraper. We've got a skyscraper around here somewhere. Sorry, I'm a bit hiccupy. Uh, so yeah, that's our plan. However, in order to do that, I don't just have to fix the code. I have to fix my tile set. So let's open the tiles. So I will go in here. And that's you. Yes. Hello, people, by the way. Um, let's see. Okay, so here are my tiles. Now, one of the really important things in here is that the tiles are in the right order. Because of the way the procedural generation is working. What it's doing is it's counting which wall we have to remove and then using some fancy bitwise calculations, removing a certain wall, calculating the new value and picking that tile. What does that mean? Well, if we look at a crossroad, uh, which is this one, and we don't need that, there we go. Uh, if we look at a crossroad, it has four possible ways out and no walls. So it is tile zero. If we look at this tile next to it, uh, which is invisible because I've just pressed the wrong button. If we look at this tile next to it, it has one possible pavement, okay? So the north is one, the east, that's right, is two, the south is four, the west is eight. Why? Because if I want just this one, that's number one. If I want this one and this one, add one and two, that's three. Three is going to be different from two, clearly. What that means is I can't put them in random order because the only way that the grid map can figure out where they are is by their tile number. So I need the tiles to be the right order. However, when we get to buildings, all bets are off. So I have here building and building variant two. Uh, evening, Azrael. Uh, 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 doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I have building and building two. What I want to do is make new versions of these buildings, and I'm going to use different textures. Then I'm going to remove building and building two from this scene. Skyscraper is going to be my new tile 15. And then I'm going to bring in building and building variant two, and then a new copy of building and building two, variable two with new materials in it so they look different. 
And then I'm gonna change my code. And here are my notes for what I wanna do. And this is where the magic's gonna be happening, right? So I'm going to um, have a random chance of skyscrapers. It's currently set at 1%, which I can change because reasons. And then I've got these two here. And we're gonna know if we're in the right neighborhood by just passing the X and the, y, and the Z, not the Y, of the cell we're in and checking if it's more than halfway. It's all gonna make sense, I promise. First thing we need to do is uh, make a new version of this scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this building and I'm gonna save it as a copy. Uh, let's save scene as building blue. Building blue, building blue. Okay, you are now building blue. Boom, and you get new materials. So this is the main material I want to change. No, it isn't. Lies. Uh, Mikey, I don't know which material I'm changing. Mikey's not here. It's probably surface one. Yes, it is. Cool, okay. So I have this rather bad texture that I've got on the side of the building here. Don't actually like it. Uh, this isn't the one that Mikey's made. It's just me throwing random stuff on there. So let's get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, disable you. Okay, so let's make you blue. Boop, uh, nice blue color. Uh, nice roughness, tiny bit of metallic, a little bit darker blue. And uh, make sure you're not tune shaded. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do that one and I'm going to go back and find this green material, which I think is surface two. Is that you? La la la, nope, not it. Uh, let's see, surface three, these need better names. Yoink, yoink, yoink. Yes, okay, fine. Uh, let's make you a nice purpley color. Ooh, that's an ugly building. Proof of concept, it's fine. It's fine, nobody panic. I'm a professional. Okay, is that, well, it's something distinctive, cool. Building blue, you are saved, awesome. Now, let's open building variant two. And something terrible has happened because they use the same textures. That's not what I needed to do. Okay, let's go back into here, undo those changes. Cool. New material, thank you, Jan. Yeah. Uh, just check that I didn't do anything stupid. No, I did something stupid. What am I doing wrong? I know what I'm doing wrong. I need to make this unique. How long have I been doing this? Uh, static body, building, there it is. Make you unique. There it is, okay. So now, if I could change a single thing. No, that's a song, I'm sorry. Whoop. Ah, everything is terrible. Okay, I know what I'm doing. I need a new material for this. This is, I'm doing this stupidly. This is a stupid way of doing this. Let's try this. Let's open the building GLB as a new building. And you, what is this shape? This is the collision? A terrible collision. Nope. Uh, let's generate you. Uh, Trimesh static body. There it is. Okay. Yes, that wasn't a variation of everything is awesome. Well spotted. Okay, so now let's save as... Um, save branches scene. And you will go into tiles, large road, building blue TSCN. Overwrite. Well then close it and then overwrite it. Don't save. I don't actually have assets to use for this. So I'm trying to reuse the existing ones. Uh, save scenes as, yes, no, save branch as. Yeah, yes, cool, okay. Now, building blue. Building blue, texture like sun, where are you? There you are. 
Uh, okay. So, it's using the same material. I need you to have a completely different material. Let's make you unique. Okay, and clear you. <laughs> okay. Now, new special material, uh, albedo, blue. Uh, yeah, I think blue is good. Let's have a nice blue albedo. Oh, that's an awful color. Let's have a nicer color. Not feeling any different. Whatever. Uh, roughness is good. Uh, you know what? This is going to be like a nice pastel blue part of town. <laughs> this is why Mikey does the modeling. Mikey, don't look at it. Don't look at it, Mikey. It's fine. Uh, let's put you down uh, here. Uh, she meant material three. So if it's three, there you are. I'm a little teapot covered in jam. Here is a building. My name is Yan. Fine. You are building blue. Okay. So now I can open building variant 2 GLB, which is... Why, why is that a different name? Huh? Mikey, what did you do? Hang on. He didn't include it. Okay, fine. Um, so in that case, I just need to save a copy of this one. Save scene as... Oh, that's right. This one was made in a rush. Building blue VAR2. Building blue VAR2. Do, 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 do. Uh, this material has changed. Why has it... It's going to be like that, is it? I see. Because I didn't make this unique. Okay. Debluify. There we go. Fine. You are going to be a unique material. You are going to be a unique material. Everybody gets a unique material. What color did I say this was? It's a uh, grayish blue. Doesn't look any different. It's a grayish blue. Okay, fine. That looks good. So now, building blue var 2, Really? Building blue var 2. Needs to have a unique material here and a unique material here. And that blue color wasn't originally blue. Great. So now all I need to do is copy those. So copy you. Boop. Hi, Daz. <laughs> Don't start singing any brick animated movie soundtracks. That's, uh, he, that, w that was Azrael. He did it. It wasn't me. Do you want to build a snow yan? Do you want to go out? Oops. Just spilled sparkling water all over my floor. I didn't spill it. It's fine. Uh, okay, so I've copied you. Go to building variant two and paste you. And let's see, did I actually make that unique? No, of course I didn't, because why would I do that? You are unique. I can see you. You little... Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that is... Okay. Building blue variant two. Cool. Uh, albedo blap. Why? You should not be changing. What am I doing wrong? Make unique. 
Oh, it's the same mesh. Oh, for the love of me. Fine. And now I can paste you in here. <laughs> okay. Copy you. Make you unique. So this is not how you're supposed to texture assets, clearly. Um, me messing around like this is great for learning the system, but not great for teaching. So we won't teach it this way. Uh, hi, Jack. Gang's all here. Okay, so we have variant buildings, blue. So here's the plan for those of you who went in. I'm going to remove these two buildings from my tile set. Goodbye. I have a skyscraper. I'm going to minimize all of these and explain what I need to do. So the way the procedural generation is working is it's figuring out what walls to delete from a tile. In other words, there's a building. A building counts as four walls. If I need to delete a wall to the north, I will find the number there and delete that and then rename this tile, or rather make this that tile. What does that look like? Well, here is zero. Zero has no walls. Here is one. One has one wall. Here is two. Two has one wall, okay? This is a simple bitwise operation. So one, two, three. Three is one and two. Four, eight. Between them, we can go all the way up to 14, which means 15 is a skyscraper, right? It's only walls. Anything after 15 is going to be the buildings. So now I need to bring in those buildings. So let's start bringing them back in. Instance of scene. Actually, you know what? There was a fancy way of doing this that I saw GD Quest do, and it blew my mind. Um, does that work? <gasps> Look at that. You could drag it into the scene. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, I got snap on. I get very excited about stuff like that. Don't tell Mikey I made these terrible textures. All right, so that's building. Now let's bring in building uh, variant. Yes, building variant two. That's a good name. Now, building variant two didn't come with any collision. It's going to be an issue. Double check that. Adds more children. It doesn't have any. Great. Uh, yep. Let's give you a tri mesh static body. Awesome. Let's make sure you're on the correct layer. Uh, let's make sure you're on the correct collision layer. You are a city. You can interact with robbers and objects. Awesome. And I should probably check that for here as well. Uh, uh, ooby dooby dooby. Dooby dooby dooby. Okay. So with that done, we can now bring in those beautiful variant buildings I've just made. Um, yeah. Yeah, it'll work fine. It's, it's fine. Please work, please work, please work. Okay. Uh, 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 you may have noticed that, sorry, where'd you, where did I put them? What? That didn't happen. You didn't see that, all right? Okay. La la la. Building blue. Boom. Okay. Uh, do you have collisions? You do. Awesome. Make sure that... I should have done this on the tile, shouldn't I? Run all the correct collision layers. Actually, thinking about this, it doesn't really matter because it's the grid map that has the collision layer, not the tiles. But whatever, I've started it now, so I'm just going to do it. A doopy doo boo My buildings are blue If you don't like them, neither do I, because they look poo uh, you definitely need collision. Yes. No, not a sibling. Uh, Trimish static body. Right. Good. I'm going to do it anyway. That's the right masks? Yes. Cool. And we'll just move you down here for the look of the thing. 
Okay, so we now have some buildings and I've just broken procedural generation. If I start the game now, we're gonna see a whole bunch of skyscrapers. Uh, I'm gonna test that because I think that's true. At least we would do if I press ready. I, no, we're not because I didn't generate the tar map. Quiet. Everything's fine. I know what I'm doing. Okay, into the world. I need to do this this way. So you are cleared. Now I can delete city. Because uh, otherwise it likes to remember and put addendums on things, which is bad. Uh, okay, so that's now gone. We now don't have any city tiles. Now I can go to the large road pieces and create a uh, mesh library which is going to go into tiles and it's going to be called neighborhoods dot tr uh, yes dot trs now dot mesh lib okay so now I can go back into world and load in my mesh library no not new library load in my mesh library tiles neighborhood and there are my buildings awesome i'm a bit worried by that order that shouldn't happen like that skyscraper oh no don't do that yes okay we have way too many skyscrapers that's exactly what i need to see uh so here we are in a terrible manhattan Oof. What's the collision on this? Really? Mikey, what did you do? What is this? No, no, no. Okay, fine. Uh, collision shape. Now we have to redo it, aren't I? Fine, uh, let's redo it real quick. So, into world, clear that, do all this business, large roads, neighborhood, mesh libs, goodbye. Uh, yep, remove, fine. Now make a new one, convert to mesh library, it's in the right directory, um, new city. Why am I making a new one with a new name? Because sometimes Godot doesn't clear the cache of what it's got. So when you make a new mesh library, it checks, is anything here not what I'm expecting? Okay, then don't change anything, which is really annoying. Um, so just to be sure, I always clear the one I've got, delete it, and then give it a new name. Uh, load, new city. That's not how you name them, but okay. So now you should have proper collisions on the skyscrapers. If in doubt, blame Mikey. Yep, I am a professional. <laughs> you guys are over there on my laptop. It's warm in here, but it's really rainy outside, which is fine. I like rainy, but it's, oh, my awesome camera isn't working. Um, but it's noisy, because I'm right by a big road. Check collision. Uh, well, collision on lamppost works, that's good. Uh, oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> Everything's fine. So, I've just moved the collision off the pavement. All right, let's make this unique. Um, make local, collision shape. Nope. Nope. And you know what? I'm just going to give you a... A uh, convex static body. No, not a convex static body. That's a lie. A trimesh static body. Yes, that's fine. Guess what I'm going to do now? Convert to mesh library. City dot mesh lib. This time I mean it. Clear you. Load you. Delete the one I'm not using. Now I can check.
Yeah, still Mikey song. A do do do. You don't need pants for the victory dance, cause bab. What's wrong with my awesome cam? Baboons better than weasel. I think, by the way, I have solved what was making Heart Beast's um, connection go slow. So I'll see if he's free this Sunday for our next scheduled stream. It turns out he can run the game at 60 frames per second if he's running it locally. So it's got to be netcode. And I realized I'm using default packet sizes. And the default packet sizes for networking are minuscule. And if he's far enough away, he's probably just dropping two-thirds of the packets. Okay, so that's fine. That works good. Now, I've got to change my code. I think I could just copy this. What do you reckon? Let's find out. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, what am I copying? Pick buildings. Boop. Uh, ooh, ooh, indentation. I have regrets. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why didn't you copy the indentation? Thanks, Atom. Is this actually faster? Answers on a postcard? Okay. Um, so I just need these variables. Let's bring those in. Uh, uh, uh. Blip. Okay. Um. It still didn't do it, did it? <sighs> Fine, we'll do it the silly way. Great. Okay, fine. Let's. Uh, chance of skyscrapers is one. That's good. Okay. Skyscraper is always tile 15. So, if you are a skyscraper. And building equals skyscraper. That seems easy enough, right? Okay, so now I need to set up variables defining my neighborhoods. So, variable buildings one, buildings one, neighborhood one. Okay, US or international spelling of neighborhood? International, good call. Neighborhood one, uh, should have that equals and you'll be 16 17 done uh, shh. <laughs> you should see me editing my videos uh, okay and I'm just gonna duplicate that and you are 18 and 19 okay so now what I need to do is check the neighborhood size right? So when I'm picking the buildings, I need to bring through this X and this Z. So let's do that, X and Z. And now what it's gonna do is we need to say, if X is greater than uh, width, which is still a bad name, divided by two, and Z is greater than height, divided by two, possible buildings, equals neighborhood two. Else, possible buildings equals neighborhood one. I mean, you know this is gonna go wrong, right? Like it can't be that simple. My code is never that, so let's find out. Uh, oh, shift tab, it's fine. We don't have time to be thinking rationally, Daz. No, the problem was it didn't know it was indentation, so shift tab didn't work. Uh, what's broken? What did I break? I have a boolean and an integer. Do I? Where? Could you give me a line number? Output. Wait, what? Possible buildings. Mm. 
Wait, what? Building equals possible building. Yes. Randomized by building size. What is it talking about? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something. Give me a line reference. <sighs> if Z is greater than height is greater than two. <laughs> I should back my Kickstarter and let me teach you how to code like me. Okay, so we shouldn't see any difference until we get to the southeastern, uh, southeastern side of the city. Let's find out if that's true. I'm hoping the frame rate is good for you guys. Is the frame rate good for you guys? I don't know. I mean, I could put this to a smaller size. I'm actually jerking a little bit. Why am I jerking? Uh, I thought it was a blue building. It's not a blue building. I feel like I could have made this easy for myself by putting everything in the top. <gasps> Welcome to Blue Town! <laughs> Welcome to Blue Town. Blue Town is where we live. We have the worst anthem of all the towns. Blue Town is terrible. It's really depressing. <laughs> No one wants to live in Blue Town. <laughs> Little jerky around. Okay, you know what? Let's um, because my OBS is not properly configured for this, not with streaming as well. So let's do a random seed. Random seed. There we go, and see if it looks better your side. And let's have some sound. You guys want some sound? I want some sound. See, this was going to be a stretch goal, but I'm not telling Mikey. I might just put it in. Now he has to make more assets. <laughs> uh, the idea being, you see, we could have like a commercial district, a financial district, a uh, warehouse district, whatever. But you could make as many as you wanted. It's a good horn, isn't it? Oh, that transition. Now, in theory, we could have a less harsh transition. But I don't know that it's worth it. The city isn't big enough. To worry about extra code to start like stuttering them out. Yeah, my OBS isn't really set up to stream at this game. Oh, that's a good jump. Let's take that jump. That's the best jump I've ever seen. Forward. This one's for Jazz. Ready? Freedom. Welcome, Dad. <laughs> when I move to the Isle of Butte, they're going to love me. <laughs> I mean, it might not be the Isle of Butte. It might be Iran. Okay, so we have Blue City. So here's a question for you. Let me turn the sound off for that. Oh, no, sound off for that. Do you guys prefer textured or flat? Bye, Israel. Because um, I'm actually mixed. Because textured makes it look more realistic, but flat gives it a more cartoon feel. Putting both in the same level is a terrible idea. Um, I kind of feel like... Hang on a second. Uh, let's take a screenshot and send this to... Oh, wait, this is a different computer. I can't send this to Mikey. Discord's on this one. You're... I'm gonna send a message to Mikey, hang on a second. 
I did it. Neighborhoods. And almost no stupid mistakes. None. Don't believe the stream people if they tell you otherwise. Great. I mean, I kind of think the flat might suit it better. If it is textured, I don't think it should be hyper-realistic. Um, Mikey disagrees. He thinks it should be realistic and the cartoon unit should come from the handling. And I get that. Uh, clearly, these textures just don't work. But Okay. So, in theory, this has some kind of scalability, right? Now, what I should do is... I mean, I say it has scalability, it has some scalability. Right now, we have two possible neighborhoods, default and this one, and we have to define them in code in this one point. And it feels like there should be an export variable or it should check it automatically. Like, this is not very declarative. This is really fiddly. Um, I did not think I would get that working that quickly. I was sure I'd missed something. I mean, something bigger than, you know, that because professional. I mean, one thing I don't like is this bit, right? If you add a tile to a neighborhood, you now have to go rebuild the entire thing. And I don't think there's any way around that if we use a grid map. And there are just too many advantages to using grid maps to not use them. Uh, things like grid maps actually do cull, whereas most of Godot doesn't. Um, grid maps just load it all as one object, so it's a lot easier to, to deal with. We could, in theory, have several grid maps on top of each other, but then we've got to find some way of, like, making sure that the proc gen is carried through on all of them, and I guess that is technically possible, but... Blech. Uh Daz says, the texture can seem busy for focus if it's all over the place. And like you said, the flattish color is less distracting. I'm sure Mikey has got a handle on it. I'm just messing around. Um... Hi, Jelly. Jelly, look what I did. I made a thing with no mistakes. No mistakes. That's not a mistake. Shh. <laughs> the worst thing is I'm sober. Uh, okay, so this bit's all normal, right? You've seen this. Oh, this is a weird seed. I'm not using this one again. No! <laughs> Where am I going? <laughs> okay, if I can find my way out of this corner... Never use this seat again. Uh, and head to the southeast corner of the map. We have neighborhoods. What? What is going on with this seed? Oh, I've got sound off. Hang on. Meant to do that. I didn't like the seed. You guys should, should know that I'm a professional video game instructor with a drama degree. Barrel roll! <clears throat> Nailed it. <laughs> okay, so... The, I yeah. the idea would be um, we could have different building types, right? So you could have a warehouse district, you could have a a uh, very wealthy district with jewelry shops or whatever's going to be. Look! The Bloom District! If you live in Blue Town, everything is blue. It's like the Emerald City, but slightly more poo. But yeah, we can dynamically figure out what neighborhood we're meant to be in. Which I think is kind of awesome. But, if I want to increase this, right, now this bit's easy, okay? Um, this bit's a little bit more difficult, but not terrible. Um, and frankly, I can work around it. The annoying bit's going to be here, right? Because what you have to do is make sure that each neighborhood is, is linked correctly. And you can't mess around with the structure of a grid map. One, the order these grids, these tiles are in, is vital. If they're in the wrong order, the, the map gen just won't work. Two, 
we can't do things like put in a spatial node or a node um, as a way of organizing our thoughts and say, you know, neighborhood one is here, neighborhood two, because if the tiles are not mesh, uh, collision shape, collision, or mesh, navigation shape, we have legacy navigation shapes from when we were trying to get those working, they don't work, um, or static body mesh collision shape, it has to be one of those combinations they just won't be included in the map, and it'll ignore them completely, which is less than ideal. Uh, you know what we should do? Let's go to the proc gen demo. Let's go to proc gen demo. Proc gen demo. Uh, open anyway. And let's give you the correct... I should have been running in here. Um, tile set. Cool. And now, when I run this thing... It's very dark. Why is it dark? It wasn't this dark last time. Was it? I don't remember it being that dark. Um, you know what? Uh, where did I put you? World, environments, daytime. Fine. One more time with feeling. Okay, this is the old map generation code. What I meant to do was copy this into my proc gen demo. Pick building will look like that, and that will have to send the X and Z. Okay, one more time. Yes, okay, so it's very clearly just one area. Now, we could do lots of different areas. We could do the center of the city is one thing. Like, there's ways we could define what that looks like. But as a proof of concept, I think that's working pretty well. Um, part of me does think it should be, like... That's weird. I, uh, I did some tweaks to the map gen code, and I've got roads coming out the side. Which shouldn't exist. Hmm. Uh, okay, I can fix that. That's going to be on fill gaps. Nope. On the raised wall. There it is. I think that's right. Let's see. Do I have little bits of road sticking out? Uh, uh, yeah, I still do. Never mind, that wasn't it. Somewhere around here I've gone to zero when I meant to go to one. But that's just a thing. Oh, I've got a message. What's this message? Uh, Where's it from? Oh, getting messages from my wife. That's lovely. I is streaming at the minute. But they can't see you. Uh, my wife is in the States still. Um, we, we're not going to be able to get her visa for a few months at the earliest, which bites. Uh, and currently she's working in a summer camp, so I don't get to speak to her very much. So, hi. Hi, Kristen. She can't see me. Um, but her name's Kristen. Hi, Kristen. Um, what was I doing? Right. I was trying to figure out what's wrong with my code. Um, so part of me thinks it would be nice to not have this hard line. Ooh, what is that? Never mind. This is a demo code anyway. Um, it would be nice not to have this harsh line right here on the edge of the neighborhood and sort of stutter them out. But honestly, the city is so small, I don't think you'd even notice that the neighborhoods would work. Like, if this was three times the size, maybe. Um, what does three times the size look like? <laughs> Oh yeah, this is going to be great. There's no way this is going to run. <laughs> yeah, okay, so that's way too big. Um, by the time it generates it, it's, it's restarting the script. So let's try uh, three times as big, which is what I was actually going to do.
so yeah, you can have enormous cities. Like I've done a uh, 250 square kilometer city just fine. You just can't find anyone. If it was this size, then sort of stuttering the edge would make some sort of sense, right? Um, frankly, unless you're making GTA, I don't know why you would do that. So why is it Facebook makes noises on my laptop and not my desktop? Probably because my desktop is Windows and Windows is poo. Um, hey, <laughs> I've been retweeted by Jelly. Hi, Jelly people. Uh, let's go back to over here so I can see you guys. Um, do we want to try this with four different buildings? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, okay, save as. Save scene as. Uh, I'm going to call you building. What color shall I use? I don't want to use green and red because I don't like using green and red as key signifiers in games because it's the most common form of color blindness and it's just poor design. Um, yellow. This one's going to be yellow. Okay, first thing we do is we make you unique. Boom. And we make you unique. Bap. And we make you yellow. Hello. Ooh, that is very yellow. And then we check that I haven't broken it in here. Great. We close that, because that script is wrong anyway. Okay, second thing we do is we save you. Um, save scene as, yes. Uh, building yellow variant. Uh, yep, that's correct. Make unique. Now, it took me a while to realize that you have to do this when you're customizing the car. Um, in fact, if I show you, I'm distracting myself. The function that adds the customization, the player's customization to their car. I didn't realize that what I'd have to do is give each car a new material at runtime. So I would get each player's customization and then I would load up all the cars and on one car, all the cars were your color. And on, oh, sorry, on one computer, all the cars were your color. On another computer, all the cars were that person's color. And I realized that what I was doing is telling each computer, change this material to this color. Now change it to this color. And that material is instance on all cars. So you need a new instance. So that's what we're doing here. We're making a unique thing. Did I actually do this one? I can't remember. Uh, make unique. Bloop. Building yellow. Uh, let's call you building yellow, shall we? Hello. Because otherwise it's going to get very confusing. Building yellow, building yellow. Building yellow, building yellow. Boop. I mean, I could, no, I can't do this in code. Um, because I'd have to build the grid map. Surface three, make you unique. You are going to be a different yellow. You're going to be this yellow. Oh, that's awful. Oh, that is truly gross. Oh, I take it all back. I'm so sorry, people. Uh, pastel? No. White. Welcome to Clown Town. Won't you take me to Clown Town? Albedo. Sorry, I'm also catching up with my wife while I'm coding because I haven't managed to speak to her all day. Uh, I know I've already told you that. Okay, uh, you know what? Let's actually give it collisions. Um, create trimesh static. Great. Save you. Save you. Bring you guys in. Okay, instance in yellow, beep. Instance in yellow. I like this new instancing system in 3.1 where you just type the thing in and it finds it for you. 
let's move you. How do you feel about being over here? I feel pretty good about it. And you should probably live over there too. Because reasons. Okay. So we have some yellow buildings. Um, okay, so how am I going to express this in code? Let's get back to my grid map. Hood 3 equals, and we only have two tiles, so that's nice and easy. Okay, if the width is those two, great. Elif, uh, no, x is greater than width. Oh, this is much easier than I thought it was going to be. And z is less than height over 2. I should really be using a match case for this because it would be so much more readable. Possible buildings. Hello. Hello. Why aren't you working? You should be working. Fine. Possible buildings equals neighborhood three. Okay. Um, yeah, that should be everything. Uh, no, it shouldn't. You know what? I'm going to show you what I've just done. Bonus points if you can figure out in advance what I've done wrong. And, what, and even better if you can figure out what's going to happen. Apart from that. I need to stop using this as my default seed. I keep crashing into those immediately. Okay. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this chase camera. Um, this is Bastion Ogil Oli. I can't pronounce his last name. I'm so sorry, Bass. Um, his camera uh, from his 3D racing tutorial. And I've just tweaked it a little bit, but it's a really nice system. Um, and the only real tweak I've made is I'm not focusing the camera on the car. I'm focusing it five meters in front of the car. Okay, so I believe I want to be down here. Is that right? No, this part of the town is fine. Okay, so it's actually the opposite end of town. The problem is, I didn't rebuild the grid map. Which means, I'm now calling tiles that don't exist. Which means, there's going to be buildings missing. And I think it's probably over here, in Ghost Town. Caboodle, are you attacking my chair again? Welcome to Ghost Town, everybody. Welcome to Ghost Town. Ghost Town is lovely. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Fine. Um, let's clear you. Uh, what are you called? So how many of you spotted that that was what I did wrong? Because uh, I bet you spotted it faster than Caboodle. I'm talking. Cat. Shush. Okay, let's actually build the grid map, which is a... Hi, Caboodle. That's why this chair isn't such a mess. Um, I've got people like, can't you just put stuff in the chest that won't claw it? It's like, yeah, but then my cat's be miserable. How am I supposed to code with... Can I have my hand back? Cat says no. All right, uh, convert to mesh library. Uh, let's call you... Uh, Cityopolis. Cityopolis. Yeah, that's how you spell Cityopolis. Can I help you? All right, now it should work, hopefully. <laughs> Shh. No one tell Mikey I did that. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so now that I've loaded the mesh library into the grid map, and it actually has any tiles at all, <laughs> okay, awesome camera is broken. I don't like broken awesome camera. Probably need to put an idle frame in there. So let's head on over to Yellowtown. Great. Now clearly, you know, I would prefer having different assets. There's no road here. Where am I going? Let's make a road. I learned to drive in New Jersey, you know. Oh, wow, that's an oppressive color. Oh, dear. I'm renaming that. That's Migraine Town. Hang on. Let's go into Migraine Town. No, no, no. Migraine Town is a silly place. Let's not do that. Okay. Um... Why did nobody stop me? It's... Uh, well, no, I called it Yellowtown. It has to be yellow. Let's find a good yellow. I refuse to believe there are no good yellows in the world. Better. I mean, it's orange, but whatever. It's just bad, isn't it? It's like a 1980s living room. <sighs> oh, stream health is dropping. What's wrong with my internet connection? Yeah. It's probably the rain. Do 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 Okay, back to migraine town. Changing the material. What a bit of time up. Hmm. And it doesn't. That is interesting. Um. Awesome Cam, why? Awesome Cam was working great two days ago. I bet it's because I was playing with my netcode. Uh. Well, this is a fun little neighborhood. Let's just live here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I realize it's not orbit testing. Okay, so I just had to convert the thing, and then go back. I mean, still awful. I don't think I like the yellow. Like, I really don't like the yellow. Hello, what are you? <gasps> oh. Well, that was a silly mistake. There's going to be a row of two houses that are from the wrong neighborhood. Is that how you do greater or equal to two in Godo? I think it is. Huh. Uh, while we're at it, this is not yellow. I, I lied. It's um, green. Because I can't take the yellow. I just can't. 
Oh, you know what? It's not green. It's monochrome. Depressing. And you will be known as building depressing. Great. Uh, okay, and now I need to rebuild you. I think. Don't actually know. Okay. Hmm. Awesome cam is really annoying me. Basically, it's tweening to the position, but it's missing, and it shouldn't be missing. I think it's because it's starting too early, and the camera it's going to hasn't actually gotten there yet. Oh, that's much better. It actually looks like I did it on purpose. I mean, I kind of want to sing Cruella de Vil at this point, but... Cruella de Vil, Cruella de Vil. If she doesn't scare you, your name isn't Bill. Haven't actually watched that in a while. Let's ram this wall. Nailed it. Oops. <laughs> Hi, Hydrant. Okay. So, we now have those two. trying to think well I already know how to add in more buildings but the real issue is if I want to make more unique buildings or more semi-unique buildings more rare buildings like this skyscraper I have to remove all of these and then change the code now that's not difficult but it's not well documented so I don't know what to do about that um, this mouse doesn't affect that uh, hmm. Well, while we're at it, let's put another neighborhood in. Okay, so we have the monochrome neighborhood. We have the blue neighborhood. We have the terrible brick texture neighborhood. What's the next neighborhood gonna be? What do you think? Uh, let's save as... Uh, anyone have any preferences on what kind of theme we want for this? Do we want a purple neighborhood? Purple and blue is going to go together pretty badly. I mean, we don't need to be doing uh, primaries, I guess. I'm waiting to see if anyone has a thing. Mauve. Yep. Sorry, Jax called it. Mauve. Great. Now, mauve is a kind of mauvey color, which I think lives down here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Make unique. Take the material, make the material unique. Otherwise, I'm recalling both of them, and that's not what I'm trying to do. Bye, Daz. 5 a.m. start? There's a 5 a.m. in the morning now? Um, I mean, that's kind of lavender. Okay, we'll use that one for here. And make unique. Why did I shout at Daz like he's gonna have trouble hearing me? Oof. Oh dear. I've discovered Laura Ashley Town. If you're from America, that will mean nothing to you, but Laura Ashley Town has been invented. Okay, so building mauve is done. Let's copy these. Actually, it looks a bit like a sorbet. Sorbet Town. Uh, save you as building mauve. Save as. Yep. Uh, building mauve variant. And uh, make unique. Nope. Make unique. Thank you. I mean, 
this is ugly. Okay, so save you. And bring them in. Okay, so let's see if I can actually remember to do this properly this time. Instance, move. Instance, move. Both there. Let's move you over here so I can actually see some tiles. Uh, new. What? What did I do? Oh, I didn't rename the... So now you should find building move two. There we go. Two yellows that are actually um, monochromes. Okay. Next, I need to convert you to a mesh library so I don't forget it. And we're going to call you new, uh, who's in Jack? Jack City. <laughs> There's an old movie. Uh, new Jack City. Great. Save you. Go to world. Clear that. Load in this one. Um, what am I doing? Tiles. So much legacy stuff in here. Oh, uh, I need to tidy this up. And now I just need to do that. Four, twenty-two, twenty-three. Okay. And let's duplicate that line. Um, if you are less than or equal to that, but more than or equal to that, I think that's all four combinations, right? If you're greater than both, you're two. If you're greater than X, you're three. If you're greater than Z, you're four. Thank you, Jan. Okay. A be be do boo, a do be de boo. Okay, so Lavender Town should be directly south. Could have cut through the buildings. It's actually much harder to cut through buildings now. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, I, I actually quite dig that. So it turns out making neighborhoods is a lot simpler than I thought. In fact, the difficult bit was really setting up these assets. Um, now, clearly, placeholder assets. If you've just tuned in or you're watching this afterwards, this is not what the game will look like. Mikey did not make these textures, uh, but he didn't have time to make more buildings right now. Okay, he's got a thousand things going on. Ooh, 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 best jump. It does look like an ice cream town, I agree. Best jump! <laughs> you know, I was thinking, instead of calling it City Seed, we should call it City Name. And then, like, have little posters come up with the name of the city. Um, admittedly, that means that people are going to write lots of rude words, just so they can see the rude words up on the poster. But honestly, if I'm teaching how to make the game, it's not like I can stop you from doing that anyway. Licorice Town. How's the frame rate, by the way? I mean, I'm getting little stutters here and there, but how's it looking for you guys? Do, 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 oh, that Zeppelin. He refuses to make it smaller. That Zeppelin is actually half the size of the one he made. He didn't notice. I mean, I think that might be too big. That is much better. Actually, this black and white part of town looks like a 1920s, I want to say. 
Actually, it looks like a 1950s cartoon. Bonk. Didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. All right, let's take a quick look at my chase cam. What's going on with this thing? Um, it's not a player, isn't it? Let's try putting you two back. Okay, so one of the interesting things I've got is between procedural generation and networking, I need to be very clear what, when I can call functions. Um, what's happening is the car is being placed, the camera is finding the car, like the actual chase camera. While it's doing that, the cinema camera is going to where the chase camera is, and it's getting there too early, or rather it's getting the position that it's supposed to get to too early. So by waiting two frames, when it looks for the chase camera, it's already in the right place. Uh, is it me or is this a little crowded? Shall we see if we can make a, a, a stupid big city? Let's make a stupid big city. This might take a while. Um, okay. Uh, no. That's the wrong script. That's the right script. This is a terrible idea. So each tile is 20 meters. So 20 by 200 is 4,000, 4K square. Do, 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 if you've got an ice cream, that sounds good. I could do with an ice cream right now. Don't have any ice cream in the house. Uh, uh, no idea is terrible. Jack, clearly you have never eaten mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is a terrible idea. This is going to take a while, procogen wise. It looks like we haven't crashed. We're still going. Yep. But, you know. <gasps> Okay, it took less time than I thought. And how's the frame rate? The frame rate is 60. <laughs> In your face, Space Coyote. Now, what I haven't done is up the amount of city clutter there is. So it's the same amount it would be for a 400 meter squared map. So we are very occasionally going to see a little bit of clutter. Because right now I don't have it figuring out how many things to have dynamically, you have to type them in. Mostly because I'm not entirely sure what the right proportion would be. This is a big town. That's a big curb. I could just leave the city like this and let Mikey try and find me next time. I can barely find beacons. All right, monochrome town, where are you? So Mikey's been working on textures, but there appears to be a bug in his current build of Blender where it's not unwrapping them properly. So he would have to do them all by hand. And that sounds like no fun at all, and certainly not a good thing to be teaching. Oh, getting a little stutter. Tell you what, though, 4K squared on a game engine that people keep telling me can't do 3D, I still haven't left this neighborhood. This is ridiculous. Let's go this way. Nailed it. Are there neighborhoods in this city? Oh my goodness, we're only at 1500. We have to get to 2,000. This city might be actually too big. It would be fun if we had checkpoints, I guess. What's this? Nope, just buildings. I like how I'm expecting there to be a new piece of city architecture in my game. Like, I wrote it. Surely I know what's in it. 
Ha-ha. Okay, that actually works pretty well. That feels good. However, way too big. We were at 20 before. Let's go to 25. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ba -doo -ba -dee -ba. Oh, great. I've got a song in my head now. I'd rather have the bunny song in my head. I think I'm a bunny. Oh, you know what? I want to see what's happening with the night vision. Um, because when we did the proc gen, the night vision looked off. Seventy-five by seventy-five. I can't do that in my head. What's going on here? I'm sorry. What? No. What do you mean you're not working? Huh? Where's the line error? Why aren't you telling me what line you should be on? Uh, play a GD. What is happening here? So, wait, does it just not work at night anymore? Did I break night vision? No. I couldn't have done. I haven't changed any of the code for that. No, nope, night works fine. It was the cop. Hmm. Oh, I bet I know what I did. Yep. And crash. Okay. So, when I was trying to get the, the um, chase cam to work, the opening camera, the awesome cam to work, what I did was realize that the players are being instanced in first, and then last, the cops are being moved, by which point the chase camera has already started. So I changed the order that happened in. And now, if you're a cop, you're not instanced yet, which is weird. So, let's check where that could be going wrong. First, let's check my cop code. Uh, join team. Where's join team? Uh, if you're in cop mode, boom, 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 boom. Fine. Okay, let's go to world scripts. Spawn local player. That's being called from somewhere, isn't it? What did I do? Uh, object spawn? Well, hang on, what's... When is that being called? Oh, it's on on pause. Okay. Spawn local player is fine. So we're going to spawn local player. If player is in group cops, doesn't work. You can't be in the group cops because you ha that part of code hasn't run yet. Got you. If network dot cop mode. Apparently I didn't call it cop mode. Local player is cop. See, the order that you call these lines starts getting really important. Please work, please work, please work, please work, please work. You don't work. That's a good song. 
Uh, set index. New player. Let's try that. Maybe I can't change its translation. Oh. Yeah, maybe I need to change the translation before I add it. Nope. Okay. I mean, this is hacky, but uh, get tree idle frame. Which is going to break the cinema cam. And will work anyway. So what's happening? New play dot translation. Wait, what? Where is cop spawn? Where am I defining cop spawn? Function relocate cops. Okay. It's not object spawner. Is it map maker? Wait, am I just never... Add child goal. Am I just never telling it where the goal is? Is it that easy? I bet it is. Um, okay, so what causes that? So, uh, relocate. Only happens once, okay. So here's the logic. World comes in. This is world. When someone tells it to do that, were you connected by signal? Object spawner. If the map is done, do the following. Okay. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Am I just not sending this? I bet... I, I bet it's that simple. Okay, so when we place the goal... Let's submit a signal. Um, spawn goal. Uh, goal. Location. And I'm going to pass the tile to you. Okay. So now I need to connect you. equals vector three tile dot x uh, 0 0.5 meters up tile dot y maybe let's see if that works I can't believe I broke cop mode days ago and didn't even notice
hello? Are you in a car? Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, that's a tile reference, not a grid reference. Okay, but that's fine, I can work with that. Tile.x times 20, because that's the grid size, times 20. One more time with feeling. Well, that's the wrong place, but at least it's spawned in. Now, it should be where that blue beacon is. So why wasn't it where the blue beacon is? Um, because... That's a vector 3. Tile's a vector 3, isn't it? Okay, except I need to be in the center. So uh, plus 10, plus 10. Is that right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait. No, 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 Yan. Bad. <laughs> Actually, that will work anyway, won't it? Because you do the multiplication first. Well, whatever, I put brackets around it. Cop car in the city, la 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 la. Boom. Little impromptu bob, bu bug fixing, bob fixing. I fixed Bob. Oh, I forgot, I have an ice cream town. How did I forget that I just spent an hour doing that? Nice. Okay, so we have a moody little city. We have a frame rate that can work. We have four separate neighborhoods, so you can actually figure out which part of town you're in. Could probably make a gameplay mechanic around which neighborhood you're in. Like loot would be different values. Cop could get a heads up. Cop doesn't really need any more benefits. Clonk, 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 clonk. Nailed it. Ow. All right, I think that works pretty well. I mean, not that. That was terrible driving, but... That flip button is surprisingly effective. <laughs> These jumps have no gameplay value, but they're just so much fun. All right, I think that's good enough. So I'm going to stop it there, folks. Uh, people have had to go to things. Oh, different tunes per neighborhood. Yes, that was something that Mikey brought up, wasn't it? Or maybe it was me. That would be smart. Change the instrumentation. I mean, that might be a stretch goal, because... <laughs> That's a little extra work. It, just in the music preparation stage, right? Now you need to have, you need to know how many neighborhoods there are and then make identical tunes with different instrumentation for each, but it could be very interesting. Um, coding wise, it shouldn't be too difficult. You just have to fade the buses in and out depending on location. I like that. But yeah, I'm gonna call it here. So folks, uh, thanks for joining me as I made mistakes and fixed them and then fixed the cop mode. Um, it's looking good. Keep spreading the word out. You're all awesome. Mikey and I will do a proper stream on Sunday. We're trying to see if Ben Anderson is free. He's checking. Uh, so we can check, see if I fix the netcode or not. Uh, meanwhile, you're all amazing. And I will see you soon. So I'll press this button. And bye. Uh, where's the stop? Found it. <laughs>